In the previous video we looked at how the, the center of mass in the body can actually move up and down and, and side to side and, and anywhere around the body, even outside the body, depending on where the body positions are relative to, to the torso. And I, I hinted at the end of the, the, the video that uh, ballet dancers in particular, when they're doing this grand jeté movement, are real experts at manipulating the center of mass to make it look like they're flying through the air when, when performing a jeté. So I, I have a little bit of an image here of, um, of a dancer that I, I had in the, the motion capture lab at, at UWA when I was doing my, my PhD. And you can see here with all of these these little blue dots that we've got here. These are the, the blue dots that we put on the body in, in the motion capture lab, just like the ones that they use in the movies nowadays to create the animated characters. And we can track the movement of those, those points through space and really look at how the body is moving in really great, great detail. And so I, I got my friend to come into the lab. We put the markers on her and we've got these. Um, we, I got her to a grand jeté in, in the lab. And in this graph here, as you can see here, represents the height of the pelvis in the lab. So you can see as she, she ran up into the jeté, she was running and her pelvis was, was just below a meter. And then as she pushed off up into the jeté and she hit her peak and then all of a sudden she's hit this, this flat point here. You can see the pelvis just seems to float along through the air, not doing anything at all. Now, from a physical perspective, if you're looking at this within the laws of physics, this is just physically impossible because if you throw a ball up into the air in this way, we know that we you need to see this nice arc shape and you need to get either the, the mass is, is moving up, the pelvis should be moving up, or it's moving down. Just to have it hover in the air like this, is really defying the laws of physics. But of course, dancers are clever, but we know that they can't really defy the laws of physics. So, so how is this happening and, and why? How could we explain what's going on? Well, you can see here with these, these blue stripes here, these blue lines, these represent where the, the markers that are on the legs have been and where they're going. And this here is the apex of, um, the position here is the apex of the leap. And you can see here across these lines, we do, we've got this flat point and the, the body just seems to be traveling through the air, just floating effortlessly through the air. But meanwhile, underneath the body, we've got the legs moving in this huge range. We've got the legs lifting all the way up here and lifting all the way up here through that same leap. And hopefully, now that you've done these last few videos, you can appreciate that you've got the 15% of the leg mass here and you've got 15% of the leg mass here. And these have just been shifted up, 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 up in the jump. And because we know that the center of mass here is the average position of all of the body segments, by lifting 30% of the mass up towards the pelvis, the center of mass, which would have started around the pelvis here, is also going to lift up to closer to the torso. So in effect, the center of mass, if we look at the center of mass, it would be making this sort of arc shape. It would be always coming up or going down. But if we look at the actual torso, it does give the impression that it's flying along through the air because effectively the legs are doing all the work here. The legs are being lifted up so high that it's affecting the center of mass position within the body. And that's why these dancers are so clever at making these jetés look so effortless as they fly through the air.